Using a continuous glucose monitor from Levels, I tested my blood sugar after eating five popular fruits, a banana, strawberries, grapes, apple, and orange. How do you think they will match up? Use the comment section below to rank these five fruits from the best for blood sugar to the worst. I share my results in this video. Fruits contain vitamins and minerals and a satisfying touch of sweetness. But what if you are trying to control your blood sugar or follow a low carb diet to control your weight? Is fruit okay? The short answer is yes, but fruits vary in their sugar, carbohydrate, and fiber content. These things make some fruits better choices than others. How much a particular fruit spikes your blood sugar depends primarily on its carb and fiber content and the fruit's glycemic index. The carbs in fruit are mainly from varying amounts of naturally occurring sugars, namely fructose, glucose, and sucrose, all of which can impact blood sugar levels with fructose causing the smallest initial increase. As for fiber, the more the better for blunting the blood sugar response. Based on carbs and fiber alone, we see that for a 100 gram serving, our fruits should rank this way. Strawberries are the best choice, followed by oranges, apples, grapes, and bananas. If we consider the glycemic index, or GI, of the fruits, the order would be shuffled somewhat. Glycemic index uses a scale of 0 to 100 to rank how foods affect blood sugar. Foods with the lowest GI value are best for preventing blood sugar spikes. However, glycemic index will vary depending on things like where the fruit was grown and for some fruits, like bananas, the ripeness of the fruit matters. As a banana ripens, more of its starch content is converted to sugar, raising its GI value. So while glycemic index charts are nice references, they cannot be entirely accurate for the piece of fruit sitting in front of you that you are about to eat. And when it comes to blood sugar response, there is an even bigger outlier that you must account for. That outlier is you. Your unique metabolism makes a difference. So the results I get are not necessarily the same blood sugar changes that you would experience. Everything from insulin sensitivity to physical activity and even your stress level, sleep quality, and the composition of your gut microbiome contribute to your body's response to foods. The only way to be certain that your food choices are having the effect you expect is to monitor your blood sugar. You can do that by using a blood glucose monitor from your local pharmacy that tests your blood with a finger prick, or you can use a continuous glucose monitor or CGM. The CGM I use is provided through this video's sponsor levels. The company makes it possible for people without diabetes to get this preventative tool. You attach this small device to your skin, typically on your upper arm or belly. There is a thin, flexible filament on the underside of the CGM that measures the fluid around your cells to gauge your blood glucose level. The Levels app then gives you continual updates with only a few minutes delay. I am able to utilize Levels in return for them using my anonymous CGM data as part of their research study on people without diabetes. You can do that as well, but if you don't want to be a part of the study, Levels will connect you with an asynchronous physician consultation to see if you qualify for a prescription. Levels does not profit from the sale of the CGMs, but they do make it possible for you to get the monitors. Their app gives you an easy to read understanding of the data so you can see how foods you eat affect your blood glucose level. If you're interested in using a CGM to monitor your blood sugar level, you can use my link, levels.link forward slash Dr. Becky to get an additional two free months of their annual membership. So how did my body react after eating these fruits? Each fruit was tested on a separate morning on an empty stomach, so there was no food in my system to skew the results. I did drink black coffee each morning. Yes, I kept my coffee intake consistent each day. And yes, I tested how black coffee with no food affected my blood sugar. You can see from this overlapping levels comparison that coffee, shown in blue, had no appreciable effect compared to no coffee. On day one, I ate 100 grams of a banana at seven o'clock in the morning. A big advantage of Levels is that you get continual analysis of your blood sugar without a need for a series of finger pricks. So it's very easy to see how foods affect you. I simply snapped a picture of the fruit and it was added to my timeline. 
I then went on with my typical morning routine as the Levels app tracked my blood glucose. After two hours, I saw that the banana caused a blood glucose spike of 87 milligrams per deciliter, earning a level score of 1 out of 10, where 10 is the best score. So eating a banana by itself did not have a good outcome in regard to my blood sugar. On to day two and a 100 gram serving of strawberries, not a bad way to start my morning. And after two hours, levels showed me that my strawberry breakfast had an okay blood sugar response, causing a blood sugar rise of 36 milligrams per deciliter and earning a score of four out of 10. Day three was grapes. Again, it was yummy. And my two hour blood glucose analysis showed that like the banana, Grapes caused a big spike, raising my blood glucose 90 points above my baseline. Now, I want to point out that even though the banana and grapes caused a big spike in my blood sugar level, that doesn't mean my body was harmed by eating them. In fact, the blood glucose analysis shows me that my body performed perfectly. I ate the fruit. The sugars in the fruit were processed by my digestive system and sent to my bloodstream. That caused my blood sugar level to go up, which signaled my pancreas to secrete insulin to move that sugar into my cells where it can be used for energy. Had it not come down, I would have had questions about insulin resistance. So it was very cool and reassuring to watch what my body was doing with the food. Day four was the day I was most curious about. Apples tend to skirt the middle line as far as carbs and fiber content for low carb dieters. When I ate 100 grams of this golden delicious apple, my blood sugar change was very similar to the response I got with the strawberries, causing a rise of 31 milligrams per deciliter. So eaten by itself, that was not bad. And as you can see from the graph, my body handled the sugar load and returned my level to normal. On to day five, I tested an orange, which is another fruit that is asked about a lot in low carb circles. So I was curious to see how my body would handle the fruit. For me, 100 grams of orange fell in the middle of the fruits that I tested, producing an initial spike of 49 points and earning a level score of just two. So for me, the best fruit choices for a stable initial blood sugar response turned out to be an apple, followed by strawberries, an orange, banana, and grapes. Of course, it would be best to run these tests multiple days to collect more data. But even with those additional days, there are factors that would change the blood sugar response I got to these same fruits. I already mentioned that as some fruits ripen, their sugar content increases. That is true of fruits like bananas, kiwis, pears, and mangoes. Portion size is another factor that influences how much fruit will spike blood sugar. For example, even if you're eating a ripe banana, if you only eat half of it, you'll experience less of a blood sugar spike. Also, if you are eating a meal, when you consume the fruit and what you eat it with will affect your blood sugar response. I dove into this topic of food order in last week's video. I encourage you to watch that video for the full story. The basic gist is that simple or quick digesting carbs are handled best after eating slow digesting nutrients like protein, fat, and fiber. In other words, if you know a certain fruit spikes your blood sugar, don't have it as an appetizer, eat it for dessert, or just don't eat it. And keep in mind that the most important factor is you. Your unique metabolism has a lot to do with how your body responds to foods. For example, you may see a significant blood sugar spike after eating an apple while your spouse may only see a moderate rise. The only way to be sure is to test. You can do that by using a glucose meter or you can get levels and utilize a CGM. If you'd like to try Levels, you can use my link, levels.link forward slash Dr. Becky, to get an additional two free months of their annual membership. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.